Thunder and lightning, enter three witches. These stage directions might not be as famous as a play they come from, but they do exemplify something Shakespeare was really good at, taking other writers' stories for his own plays. So, was Shakespeare a copycat? Hop on the history machine. Born in 1564, Shakespeare learned to read and write at a demanding grammar school, where he must have read the classics while cultivating a rather good eye for stories that could potentially become hit plays. There were plenty of books available at the time, and Shakespeare seems to have read them all, from Arthur Brooke's long poem, Romeo's and Juliet, to Plutarch's Lives, to Un Capitano Moro, which means Shakespeare probably read Italian. It's very possible that Shakespeare even read Don Quixote, but that's another story for another time. The history plays came from several books, but Shakespeare mostly turned to one of them, Raphael Hollinshed's Chronicles. Legend says real-life Macbeth bumped into three goddesses who foretold him he would become king one day. But, knowing his audience had been fascinated by witchcraft for years, Shakespeare turned deities into bearded women with foresight who cooked potions and vanished into the air right before our eyes. Does this mean Shakespeare was a plagiarist? Not at all. He condensed, expanded, and changed plots and characters while adding contemporary allusions to his plays. Sound familiar? Plus, Shakespeare's language remains largely unmatched, so let's just say he was a borrower and a lender of stories. Are you a real history buff? Subscribe to our channel!